This is Shari from LittleBlueDeerDesign.com and today I'm going to show you how to just quickly edit uh, or create an image with an overlay and some graphics that you can use on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, etc. using PicMonkey.com. And PicMonkey is a free, uh, you can get a free trial for seven days and test it out. Um, online service. It requires no software installation or anything. You can also get a subscription. I think it's $7.99 if you pay monthly and $3.99 if you pay annually. So you can do what's best for you, um, but you will want to initially set up an account. So to add an overlay to an image, click on edit and it will give you the option to choose an image from your computer. I've already got my image all ready to go. I've cropped it in a square so it's good for Instagram. And the next thing that you're going to do, we're going to just create um, a basic photograph with an overlay and maybe some cool text over it, something that would look really nice on uh, Instagram or Pinterest. So you're going to click on the butterfly icon. Um, this brings you to overlays, and there's all kinds of different overlays that you can use. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to keep it really simple and just use a rectangle but you can fool around and try with whatever you like. So I'm going to click on the rectangle and color number one here is a border. I don't necessarily want a border around my overlay, um, but I also don't want it to be black. So black is the basic color of the rectangle here. I'm just going to click right here in the color box and I'm going to enter F, 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 which is the hex color for white. So now we have a white box. I kind of want it to go over the photograph but not cover it up too much, so I'm going to just easily drag and drop it here. And the other thing is I prefer that this be a little bit faded. So I'm just going to increase the fade just enough and I'm going to save that. And now I just want to add some text over my overlay, so I'm going to click on the text button. And the cool thing about PicMonkey is not only does it have a whole bunch of Google fonts, it actually will pull the fonts from your computer, which is pretty awesome. Um, and it classifies them. So that's sort of a nice feature that I'm not sure that Canva has. Um, so I think for this uh, particular graphic, maybe we'll try Ultra. And... All I have to do is click Add Text. Once again, the color is black. The hex color for black is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 zeros. And I'm going to type my text here. Welcome. Right. And if I want to change the color of my text, I can just click here. I definitely don't want a green, so I'm going to go right back to the black hex color and bring that back. And now I'm just going to click and drag my text onto the top of my overlay. So what if we want to add um, a little tagline? We're going to try add text again to my blog. And I always like to use a couple of different fonts. So we can search around and look for another one that we think would look nice. And we'll try maybe a Matic small caps. And then once again, I'm just going to click and drag this into place on my overlay. And now we have the white background, the text with two different fonts, and an Instagram ready photo, which is kind of cool. And you can add um, all kinds of different graphics and effects. Um, they usually have some themes that you can add. You can add a frame to your picture, which is kind of cool. Um, that's the museum matte frame. That looks kind of nifty. Um, let's see. You can try adding also different effects to the photo. You can see the Orton cross process kind of gives it a yellow look. This is very similar to Instagram filters, um, Intrepid, Urbane. That looks kind of cool. So I think I'm going to keep it like this. The main thing that I wanted to do was just share with you um, some of the different things that PicMonkey can do. You could definitely spend hours playing around with it, and it's actually kind of fun. And it's one quick, easy way to get really 
quality looking um, Instagram and blog photos. So now we have our picture looking the way that we want it. And to save it, all we have to do is click on the export button. I'm going to go ahead and apply that filter. And here's our picture. And we can choose from large resolution, great resolution, or just basic low resolution. Um, I generally like to choose the larger resolution. If you have a problem uploading it to Instagram, you can always come back and uh, use a, a lower resolution. And just click export to computer and then save and you're ready to go. If you have any questions on this, feel free to leave me a comment um, on this post. I'd love to help you out and I hope you've enjoyed this basic introduction to PicMonkey.